Okay, it's no secret that I love to floor stack. I think it's possibly the best building trick in the game as it comes with the added bonus of providing a free bunker. However, it doesn't come easily without practice. That is, until now. Today I'm going to teach you how to safely set up your starter base and then floor stack it afterwards. I'll do this for both the square core as used in my Abalon build and then for a hexagonal core as used in my upcoming Cortex build. You see, the usual method of floor stacking would require you to add the floor stacking whilst you're building your starter base and this can be incredibly frustrating. Not only do you have the pressure of your entire starter base in your inventory, but often you don't know if the stack has failed until you've built all the way around your core. So let's look at some examples. Quick disclaimer here, I saw this technique used by another content creator called Gabe, and I'll link his video in the description. So this is how we usually do a floor stack, and it still works perfectly fine when you get it right. However, when it goes wrong, it can be a total pain. In this example, the foundation simply won't fit around the core, so you have to restart. And in this example, it looks like everything's worked. You've got the perimeter down successfully, but then take a look at what happens on some of the walls when you try to place them. This is wrong. You have to restart the entire base again. Let's look at how to numb that pain. The gap we're wanting to end with is shown here with the twig foundation. Let's do the square core first, as used in the Avalon. Notice the starting point here. We want to build out from the side of the base with three squares and a triangle. From the middle square, build out with four squares and a triangle. Add all the door frames as shown here. and then remove all the squares. Build back from this triangle with two half moons of triangles and place law walls. These are used to center yourself. Next, using a square foundation, hover it at a height of around two to three times higher than your core foundation and move back and forth until it turns blue. Remove everything except your new high foundation and build back to the base as shown. Now you can complete your floor stacking perimeter. Now 
and here's just to show that it is perfect and that's what we're looking for just a clear gap in between the two floors Whilst we're on that subject and before we move on to the hexagonal base, I want to demonstrate how you can do this wrong. This is important. If the foundation is placed too low, you'll not be able to place the second floor. So try again. If the foundation is not high enough, you may be able to place a second floor, but there'll be no gap in between them. This may look absolutely perfect, but it isn't. Make sure you can see clear daylight between the two floors, or you'll run into some problems later, trust me on this. It's much better to check at this stage and redo the square placement than brick your entire base. Onto the hexagonal core as used in my Cortex build, which will be out later this week. The process is the same, but we start at the front door. Once we have the correct stack, you need to build back as shown to achieve the correct gap. Now you can complete the floor stacking perimeter. I hope you found this useful. This is the method I've been using recently and I'll use it every single time going forward. As always, drop me a like if this was awesome and subscribe for future Rust content. Peace.